in my sleep. It all began with her reign as a Supreme, the original all-girl group that were the most successful black recording artists of their day. Since then, she's run the gamut from movie star to mom, but it always comes back to her gift for music. Please welcome a woman who truly puts the D in diva, and I mean that in the best sense of the word, Miss Diana Ross. <laughs> For me to sit next to two divas, you're the original diva. This one has patterned a whole diva no, life after you. Wait a minute, I told you the other day you're right. the main diva. Oh, Miss <laughs> Barbara, yes, Ross, yes. Is, is Barbara Ross. I'm like flustered here. <laughs> here today, I can't believe that you're going back on the road with the Supremes in the new millennium. Did you ever think you'd be here? You know, I really didn't. I'm singing Baby Love after 40 years. I, mean, <laughs> I didn't think this was, this was going to happen, and I'm very happy and surprised about it. It, it is a product of actually the media and the fans because it was not my dream originally. I was going to go out on tour and do uh, my promotional tour for my album. And all of a sudden, the fans in the audience wanted to see the Supremes. It was an idea whose time it's come. So I'm happy to do it. I'm very excited about it. It's, it's interesting that a whole new generation yes. loves the music. I mean, this, is, this isn't just us who remember. This is a whole new group. And I wanted to ask about that because Star and I have talked a lot about you and what it meant to young black women to have a Diana Ross who was a baby herself when you started, to see that someone could be beautifully dressed and elegant and successful. Were you aware that you had this kind of responsibility? No, I didn't. Mm. I majored in fashion design and costume illustration in school, and I love beautiful clothes. I lived out of the magazines. I worked at Hudson's department store as a bus girl in Detroit, and I, the show windows were always beautiful dresses of which I wanted to wear and have. And I had an incredible mother who believed that anything that I believed that I could do, she, you know, she really was a big support. And I sang in front of the mirror all the time, and then I met the Supremes, and then met Smokey Robinson, and he took us to Motown, and each step happened on but its own. But when you, when you realized after you became the success, the kind of influence that you had? You know, I don't ever, all I know is I wanted to be the best me I knew how to be, yeah. and I wanted, um, I always wanted children. Early on, we wanted to have kids. I remember saying on television when I was about it had to be before I was 18 years old, and I wanted to have six kids. I got close, had five, five. you know, but I always, um, somehow it comes from your example. My mother was a good mother. I wanted to be a good parent, and in a sense, I wanted to be a good example to my children the way my mother was. You're a really good example for us, too. I think every young African-American woman that I know, when I say I know Diana Ross, they're envious no. because you have given us just this whole ideal of what you can be if you go and work for it. Yeah. And we thank you for that, Oh, Diana. that's so wonderful. Thank you, Star. We really do. Well, I want to ask about the children because I've met your boys. Don't you start. I've met your I'm boys. a crier and a hugger, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I met you boys, and they're the light of your life. Now, are you going to take them out on tour with you? Actually, my five children are the light of my life. Uh, I think that's the way I've been able to have a career. Is and they're decent, wonderful they're, children. Thank you very much. Yeah. We had to touch wood, huh? Touch wood. Because I think, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, raising kids is a day at a time. I have five incredible kids. Um, Two of them are in show business. Rhonda and Tracy. And my daughter Chutney will possibly be in. She wants to go back to school for children's animation. She's really oh, wow. so good with kids. Uh, raising kids to me is a day at a time, and they're my priority. Like the other day, uh, when I didn't think I was going to be able to do this show, I rushed home because Evan, my my 11-year-old, loves to dance, play uh, basketball, and he's a great fast runner, and he chipped his heel, and he's on a crutches now. And the thing you have to talk to a kid about when they hurt themselves and they're, they want to do the thing, I mean, you've got to be there as a parent. You just have to be there. That's number one. And the career has to work its way around that. And I've been lucky to have that. Also, I've been just, I've had great mentors, you know that, and I have, uh, I've, been lucky to get really good songs. Um, Barry Gordy. Yeah, Barry Gordy. 
Can yeah. I talk about the first time you and I did our interview? Yes. <laughs> okay, so we were going to do an interview with Diane. And by the way, I had heard Prima Donna. You're going to cry a little? Yeah. She couldn't have been easier or more adorable. So, you know, a lot of the stuff that you hear. However, we went to see her house in advance. The house was all pastels. So I came the next day in pale turquoise to go with the pastel house. Tell them what you did. Well, it mostly what's funny about that is I, I never dreamed to have a house like that. I, I was brought up in the projects. I grew up in Detroit in the projects. And to be able to afford to have that house, it was basically empty when she came there. They had p some pastel furniture. It basically, yeah, but uh, yeah, pastels okay, kind of, so? right, right. And it was a big empty room, right? Yeah. So I went out, it's Hollywood. I went out in Hollywood and I rented a whole bunch of furniture to fill up my house so that Barbara, when she interviewed me, that looked like we really had furniture in that house. <laughs> so we came back the next day and my pastel dress in the house was red, white, and black. Oh, I can't believe it. Overnight! Overnight! It's a wonderful interview. We should see, because you said something to me at the end of that interview. What would you want? And I said, to be in love. Yeah. Don't you remember yes, some I moment in there? That, yeah. It was a moment there. And, and then the next time we did an interview, now my children weren't even born when nope. I was with the Supremes. My first daughter was born in 72. And, you know, she looked back at the interview. She said, Mom, you went from that moment to the next moment when we were in Connecticut With when I said, of the women kids. can do everything. That's we can right. have babies and we can do everything. And she went like, wow, Mom. Yeah, with portraits of the three kids. And here, and here we are in a new uh, chapter of your life. Oh, a new chapter. That's what mm. I'm looking at, too. In creating uh, a life, this is a new chapter in my life. I'm very excited about now. Well, you want to know what we're excited about? Uh, we're excited me. about in a few minutes. This audience is going to be treated to something they don't hit, get to hear on a regular basis <laughs> when we come Did back. Did you to do baby love? Um, now, Star Jones is yeah. going to learn how to be a Supreme later on with the rest of you. <laughs> but when we come back, Diana Ross and the Supremes will be right here. Stay right here. Supremes were smoking. Wait till you see who's backing up Miss Ross these days. Meet the new Supremes next. Excuse me, sorry. So, <laughs> I got carried away. So I was like, where did our love go? And stop in the name of love. Oh, they were instant classics. And they helped to find the Motown sound. And it's still a sound that's adored by so many of us today. So back with us is Diana Ross. And joining us are the Supremes. Ta-da! <laughs> to meet the two of you when we announced the tour um, way back at Grand Central Station. But, all right, Linda, Sherry, you were Supremes after Diana left the group. Now you're going back on tour with Diana Ross. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. I, you have to be excited. Are you still pinching yourself, Sherry? Yes, I am. Absolutely. I'm in another world. <laughs> I'm just absolutely ecstatic. What's yeah. the most exciting part, Linda? I think uh, being with Diana. It's probably the most exciting part, really, because she is so wonderful. She is the consummate performer, and we're learning so much from her. At, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she's humble. You know? Yes, she is. Gracious. She's just oh, gracious. And sweet. <laughs> really, and I mean that from my much? heart. From my heart. And Why? if she cut your salary 20 <laughs> percent, <laughs> what would you do? No, you know what I said. You know what I said when I first uh, did my little bit on tape. I said, even if she had me up there mopping, I would do that. <laughs> They have a wonderful history that maybe the fans should hear their history because actually they've been singing the music since 1971 and 1973. Maybe you go ahead and tell about your how you got involved with the, the Supremes. The former ladies of the Supremes, we called ourselves, and Linda, myself, along with Jean Terrell, who had replaced Diane originally, mm -hmm. and then I replaced Jean. Well, we formed the former lady, the ladies of the Supremes, right. and we traveled all over. And millions and millions of people all over the world know the words to your songs. I mean, I oh, know absolutely. all the words. Yeah, and, absolutely. You know. And you know, it's something because if you don't know the words, if we don't know the words, yeah. we could get in trouble because the well, audience knows. Yeah, I don't know the words. Do you, do, don't you get scared that you're going to mess up the words? I'd be petrified. Well, actually, there have been times when I have, you know, the word just didn't come, the next word didn't come, and I'd look in the audience and someone's singing that word. So I was like, oh, oh okay, I know what it is. You know. When in doubt, you just smile. Yeah, yeah. and cool. sway. You know, you yeah, do yeah, the yeah. supreme sway. Yeah. You know. <laughs> 
It's you going pose. to be uh, yes. grueling, all that swaying, though. How do you prepare for that? Because <laughs> it's physically demanding. Yes, We're going to show you. Yes. Oh, all right. Okay. Um, yes. Yeah. You okay. Do have to keep well, oh, here we are. That was a cure if ever I heard it. Really? Right? So, <laughs> here to perform Baby Love is Diana Ross and the Supreme. <laughs> looks and the moves of the ladies who sang them and anyone who's ever dreamed of performing in a girl group better sit up and pay attention because Diana is <laughs> about to give us a master class on being a supreme which I yes. love <laughs> what is the trick Diana give it up what's the trick to move in like a supreme I really think that maybe Linda and Sherry know better about what they have to do as image wise but go right okay. ahead well you know I think one of the things about being the supreme first of all it's an attitude Oh, yeah. that's it. Drama. <laughs> and it's all about drama. It's totally about drama. Yeah. And then Barbara of course, has it too. I guess. Of course, there's the moves, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, we had the, one of the greatest. Charlie Atkins taught us this. You go this oh, way. Oh, yeah. You go that way. Oh. It's the Supreme Sway. A man sway. taught you this? No. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's wonderful. <laughs> and ladylike yeah. sensuality. And right. yes. I <laughs> fall into the so cool. Then you smile. You always oh, smile. Are, are you moving? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm moving the right way. <laughs> Yeah, oh, you're getting seasick now. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, it feels good. There you go. There you go. They have a lot of hair. Yeah. There you go. And that's why. Oh, right. Oh, that's 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 right. I can just say, to me, it was about having an inner confidence. Yeah. It was about coming from a place of positive and caring. It was, it was playful, 
but it was still very ladylike. We didn't yes. go bumping and grinding. Mm -hmm. And it, we uh, cared a lot about the image and what we represented with the young people, even when we were young. That's right. So That's even right. though it was a lot of swaying and a lot of movement, there was a lot of thinking going on about oh, what yeah. you're standing for, That's who right. you stand for. Trust so, us to yes. mess that up. Yeah. <laughs> The viewettes will step to the back. But we didn't want to miss the viewettes. Well, Sarah teaches the stuff. All right. Okay. Just, just watch. Time. Just watch us. Okay. All right. We'll All join right. in. We'll, we'll step to the back. All right. And the audience can join. She's about to bring more of her magic into our studio. It gives me such pleasure to introduce singing I Will Survive from her CD, Take Me Higher, Miss Diana Ross. Okay. Now this song is dedicated to each of you in the audience and I want you to join in and sing with us too because I think you might know the words of the song. Let's see. I've got all my love to give. 